guys, it's Kay Nemus Natural Life. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do that epic bun, okay? A bunch of you guys commented on a couple of my recent videos where I was wearing this epic bun that I had. And you guys were like, please, please, please do a tutorial on how you did your bun. And I was like, okay, I'll do it. It's super, super easy. And it's a very easy technique that you can use over and over and over again. By the way, I do have a few other bunning videos that I will link in the bottom bar below. And also, if you guys noticed that YouTube has this new thing called cards. And so if you click the I button, which I'm not sure what side it's going to be on. Maybe this side? I don't know. There's going to be a little I button at the top um, on your mobile devices and on your regular computer. And if you click it, it will show you the related video so the same links that are in the description box will be in the card so when you get done watching this and you want to check out some of my other bunny videos you can just click the card and it will take you to the videos so I'm like yes that's less work for me honey yes I'm excited about that the day that I did that bun my hair was stretched a little more than it is today um, it is humid in North Carolina today it's been raining and so you know I had my twist out going and stuff and it's just slowly shrunk up 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 but that's okay because you're gonna miss your hair anyway because you kind of want your hair to have a texturized feel to it so what I'm going to first do is just a lightly mist my hair this is just plain water just to make sure that it's pliable okay and what that's also going to do is going to help your hair grow it's going to help it get bigger and bigger and bigger because you want the bun to be epic right big right so I just kind of distribute that water through my hair on you know, all the sides and let it you know get some good moisture and then I typically take a moisturizer and just kind of go over my hair with that as well the last time I did the bun I did use this Nokiam Naturals um, this is the Shea Amaretto leave-in conditioning hair milk okay so I used this last time I'm almost out of this stuff and I need to get some more I mean I love y'all because I'm going to use the last little bit of this to moisturize my hair so I can show you guys how I did it. So it gave me that extra moisture and that texture that you're going to see in the front of the bun. And I mean your bun's going to look different because everybody has different hair textures but anybody can do this style and it'll look different on everybody. So just go for it. After I make sure that it's moisturized I'm going to proceed in doing a basic puff to make the bun. I always... Since the beginning of my hair journey, I have used stockings, okay, knee highs that get stretched over time. They are easy on my hair, they don't cause breakage, and I can adjust the tension. So I'm going to use this. Also a big fan of the Curls Control Paste. I do have the Blueberry Bliss version of the Curls Control Paste, which is just bomb too. It smells great and it has a wonderful, wonderful consistency. I have noticed though that this one has a lighter hold than my all-time absolute like staple curls control paste and this is the one that is in the passion fruit scent okay and I just noticed that this one has more of a pomade consistency to it um, it looks just like the other one except it's orange but for my hair it seems like the curl control paste just really really slicks my edges a little bit more so when I'm going for that sleek look I use this version of it but both curls versions are good doing the buns I typically use a very generous amount of the control paste around my edges and I use my fingers to smooth okay so it's kind of like old school when you used to have that black gel that brown gel <laughs> my mama never let me use that gel <laughs> but uh, I just kind of you know I'm very generous with it and I just use my fingers to smooth okay and it just helps give it that textured feel as well Once my hair is going in the direction that I want to go in, I take my stocking to create my puff. The secret to getting that massive height is not allowing the band to slide back too far. So I want to keep the front of the band right in the front of my hair, like right close to my hairline, like that. So I'm not letting it slide all the way back. Back is going to be raised higher than the front, okay? So I go ahead and make the puff. And I'm not trying to get the hair like in a puff. I'm just trying to get it up into a ponytail position. In order to keep the bun from sliding in the front, I actually put a bobby pin in the front so that it won't move. 
as I'm manipulating my hair for the month. Gotta overlap them like that. Okay, so now my hair is basically a flopped puff. Okay, as you can see, it's not it's not really a puff, it's just more just drawn up. And so now it's time to make the bun. Now I'm telling y'all it's super, super easy. So what I do is typically find the middle. You know, like if you've ever made a sock bun, I kind of find the middle of my head, you know, in relation to where I want the pieces to go. And then I pretty much place the hair in that fashion in a bun using pins. So that the bun is not uncomfortable, I like to use these type of uh, roller pins these large roller pins that way I can position the hair where I want it to be but it's not poking my scalp and making my head itch key is always to have the massive layers in the front of the bun so you can kind of section the bun off okay and I will start right here but what you want to kind of try to do is not separate the hair too too much and as you can see that texture from using the water and the Nokia M really kind of shows my curls a little bit and I kind of like that so I just take it and it's basically you're just going to make the bun as thick as you can the pieces as big as you can so you're just going to twist the ends and then you're going to just pin it but you're going to pin it so that they're bulky you see that you just pin it so that they're bulky all the way around so there is the first center portion of the bun and now you just use the rest of the hair to formulate the rest of the bun. So I'm taking fairly large sections of my hair and repeating that. I'm kind of finger combing a little just because I want the hair to all work together and cooperate. But I'm barely twisting just the ends just to hold it together and then flip it in. And the goal is to get the rest of the hair working with the anchor hair in the front. You can always change the anchor hair <laughs> as you go. If it starts being lopsided or it's not doing like you want it to do, you can always update it. So, same thing. And don't worry about any pieces that fall. You can fix them later. So just get the bun going and then you can fix any of the straggly pieces. So I'm not taking all the hair that's in the back. I'm just taking a portion, okay? Because it's all, you know, about tricking the eye. And I do the same thing. You know, just roll the ends, but this time I actually roll it. I actually roll the hair so that it fits in that hole. So that as you go, and I would drop all the hair pins. <laughs> the reason you do it that way is to go ahead and just designate a middle portion to the bun and then you can go around it. So it's like having a middle anchor point. And as you can see, it's gonna be different every time you do it. As you can see in the back here, I have a little bit of extra over here and I still have my back little section back here. And you just play with it and finagle with it until you can get it, until it you know fits into the bun the way you want it to. Okay, so now you have your basic bun, and the last thing that you have to do is shape it <laughs> so that it actually has a very rounded appearance. Because in the front right here, it's round, but it's like big in the front, and then it's like kind of flat on the top. And so what I normally do is use the, the hairpins to kind of play with it. I use my hands and just kind of shaping it to get it to the shape that I want. And oftentimes I'll use the smaller roller pins for that part. And I will just pin the hair. I will just pin the hair, you know, until it gets to my desired shape. So it's super simple, easy peasy, and it's super fun to wear. And it's also easy to maintain during the week. So if you want to use it as like a protective style, you know, put your bun up and then leave it for the week, you can do that. So to sleep and maintain it, I like to use the e-bonnet right here. Um, it's the cappy bonnet that has the tails on it and so it's really good at helping to shape <laughs> the bun as well because you can you know place the cap on top of the bun and then tie it around so yes you'll be extra cute okay <laughs> 
you'll be extra cute cone head when you go to bed but it really is worth it you know for a style during the week so you can you know give your hair a rest and a break and since you have the um, using the hose or something that's not too tight um, it's not going to be you know abrasive on your hair and those hairpins are not going to be hard to deal with you know so you can do it like that I also sometimes use this method when I'm doing my makeup I will um, slide this up you know above my forehead and then tie it in the back you know and so what it does is it really helps it even shape the bun even more into a circular you know shape and you just take it off and boom you ready to go girl you ready to go so I hope this tutorial was easy enough to follow I promise it's super super easy your hair doesn't have to be super super long you know you just need to be able to get it as forward as you can and rock it out so I hope you guys like it I hope this was helpful to all of you guys that requested it be sure to leave comments in the comment section let me know if you have any questions also if you decide to rock the epic bun then be sure to tag me on your social media posting so I can see your buns okay I will see you guys in the next video bye